All right, hello you all. This is uh, Rio from Campbell Games, and uh, today we're going to be going over my uh, setup for the uh, Arsec X Retro Bat setup. Now, a couple of disclaimers. I mean, we all know that this little guy right here uh, isn't the most powerful in the world, you know. So I kind of wanted to figure out a way to like, hey, what's the best way to like play all of the good games that everybody wants to play without having to do too much and uh it took me about two weeks to figure it out but i finally did it so um i'm the kind of the gist of it just to kind of go over it's just pretty much like you were streaming you're streaming everything so a couple things that you're going to need for this obviously number one a, a gaming pc something that can kind of like handle uh you know the uh the higher tier emulators, Sim CMU, PS2, Dolphin, you know, once you get that out the way, majority of the world now is all streamers and should have a gaming PC. If you don't, as long as, as long as you have a decent enough computer that can run those, you should be fine. Uh, other thing that you're gonna need is Parsec and another program called Retrobat. Now Retrobat is Windows based. So sorry for you Mac users, uh, you won't be able to do this unless you've uh, figure out a way to run Windows programs on a Mac. Uh, now, to get it, for the people who don't know what Parsec is, Parsec is a program that allows you to kind of take an offline game and make it online. Um, I've been using the fast what three, four years now, and it's been great. And you remote into the computer and then have somebody else connect with you, and you all play together. In this situation, we can kind of use it to our advantage to the Retro Pocket 3. Now, I don't want to bore you all too much with a lot of information, but this is going to kind of jump right in it. So the first thing that you want to do, obviously, have your Retro Pocket 3. So um, you want to go to the Play Store. So under the stores, you want to open up your Play Store, because I'm sure you have it by now. And you want to just search Parsec. I haven't already done it. I already have it installed. So. You just obviously install it from the Play Store, hit install, let it download, do what it do. You don't have to do anything right now um, because we're going to come back to this guy. Now, on your Windows computer, you want to go to Parsec. Uh, Parsec, I put the link in the description. Uh, it's parsec.app. Um, what I should strongly do is uh, at least create an account because you're going to need it when you download it. Uh, this goes, it's going to give you the ability to remote into your computer or anything from on any network not just your home network um so you just obviously click the download button and for this situation it'll be like download 64 64 bit so we can just download it and then they might ask you like hey is it a virus is it safe yes it's safe all right then you download it open it click yes allow us to make changes and you just go through the installations It's per user. You want to make it per user for your own user um, on this next and install it. Like I already have it installed, but I'm just doing it just for the sake of this video. Um, and then once you install it, you're going to be greeted with this window. So this is what I was telling you about the whole sign up for your account. So the same account that you use on here on this computer that you're installing it on. It's the same one you want to use on your retro pocket. So when you do that, they're going to link up with each other. So once we are kind of already done this, I don't have to do this part on my computer, but once you do this, just sign into it and then that computer will show up. So if you see, for instance, my computers load, you'll see like a list of computers on here. And that's what you would just kind of go for now. The next thing you want to do once you kind of get that set up, you want to go to Retrobat. So a little bit of thing about Retrobat. Retrobat is already, it's, it's a front end emulation for uh, Windows. So they come with all of the emulators that you see here. Every last emulator. They're already pre-configured besides two. There are two that are not pre-configured. And obviously that's the, that's uh, Yuzu and Ryujinx. Yuzu and Ryujinx, they all require you to, they all require you to uh, use your product key and title keys for the switch hacks. Obviously, I can't tell you where to get those, but if you get those, you can just kind of plug those in 
you shouldn't have no issues with that now the biggest thing here is it's a portable mode so which means that you, it says you right here you can install it from a hard drive so which i which is what i do um, i installed it to a hard drive so that way um, i don't take up a lot of space i can literally unplug the hard drive and then take it to somebody else's computer and be like hey let me let's run some games or retro games or whatever so i highly recommend you put it on the external hard drive instead of the computer because you're gonna be you'll be downloading a lot of roms but you'll be going to downloads uh you want to choose the first one which is 4.0.2 at at the time of this video you just hit download and then it's just 1.2 gigs it's going to take a minute um to download um i don't have to do this part because i already have it installed so i'm gonna go ahead and uh cancel this part out now i'm gonna show you all the file format of the retro pocket because i think that was another thing that popped up the file format so when you install it you're gonna be it's gonna be to the directory here so i installed it to my ps4 uh my ps4 uh hard drive because that's where i have it the most but you're going to see retro bass system roms bios so the bios folder obviously self-explanatory any bios that you might need for the emulator it might ask for just dump them in the bios in the bios folder go back uh roms once you finish installing you'll see that every last game has a file so for instance uh let's go to one that's kind of normal let's go to gamecube 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 has a folder right here uh, and then you just dump your files in here. All your ROMs in there. Right? Uh, and same thing with Nintendo DS, PS2. You just dump all your games in those files. So what's, what's going to happen is when you open a RetroBat, which we're going to do right now. going to give you a nice little intro and everything and then uh, let me actually turn down my actual music from the background because you're gonna have i don't want it to overlap so you're gonna be greedy with this so every time you put a rom in here you're gonna automatically have they're going to automatically go in. They're going to be populated in inside the folders. So as you can see, I have a bunch of GameCube games and stuff like that. You know, Wii U, obviously, Mario Kart 8 Breath of the Wild. That's the biggest thing. So I think you kind of figure out what's going on here. So once you get this set up, all you do is go on your retro pocket. And then you find that computer that you... I know, but hold on. I think I got to sign into my shit. Hold on. that over here sign into my account real quick so i can show you all all right so now that we have that you go back to our retro pocket and you just reload it because my computer should show up now so my computer showed up. Computer showed up. We just hit connect. And there's there it is. So now it's gonna automatically pick up the gamepad. Oh wait, my bad. I got another controller hooked up. Oops. Let me disconnect the, the controller. So yeah, it was disconnected. So we're going to disconnect and then reconnect back again. Hmm. What? Not working. Anyway, you get the, you get the gist of it. Let me at least figure this shit out. All right. Open our retro bat one more time.
But just keep this in mind. You can do this from anywhere, or you don't have to build your home network at all. Love the logo too. There we go. Okay, sorry, sorry about that. So we're gonna turn this down a bit. Uh, let's do a gatekeeper now. Let's do some double dice. I just kind of want to. I kind of want to show y'all how like smooth this is. One last thing I gotta do before I do that. One second. Troubleshooting! Duplicate these displays. All right, there we go. Okay, so let's try that again. So I got two monitors hooked up, so that was my fault. But there we go. A little bit of technical difficulties, but you know. Whatever. Paint out to be perfect. Now, obviously, I can't show you where to get the games from, but I do. I can hook somebody up if y'all want to join my Discord. I can provide you with those uh, things, but I can't distribute it on Facebook, I mean, YouTube, obviously. So if you want a link, let me know. Let me know something, something. But as you can see here, it works. Bam. Now you back now you back playing with the, the GameCube games, right? Or whatever the, whatever games you decide to put on here. But I'm not gonna bore you with that. This is not about that. So the last thing I want to show you all is the programming of the actual controller. So when you first get to this, you wanna do the controller settings and then you wanna configure a controller. So you just hold down the button of your choice and then you just go through and just obviously map the key. So up, down, left, right, start, select, uh, A, B, X, Y, up, left, up, left, left one, R1, L2, R2. And the good thing about the rest of your pocket is it has L3 and R3. So L3, R3, and then R3. You want to set R3 as your, your uh, home, your hotkey. Now, I say that it's because you need R3 and start, your hotkey and start button to back out of a game. So for instance, if I open up Double Dash again, right? And I'm like, oh no, I'm done playing it. I did what I gotta do. If you press the right, uh, right R3 and start, it takes you right back to the menu. And you can just kind of, you know, go through whatever you wanna do at that point. So uh, hopefully I didn't bore you too long uh, with this video, but if you liked it, please give a thumbs up. Uh, I will leave the link in the Discord, you know, if you want those, that, that link I was talking about. Um, and then I also have a uh, live stream on Twitch and stuff like that, you know, yada, yada, yada. But that's it for this video. If you got any questions, feel free to either PM me, leave them in the comments or anything like that. Um, but that's pretty much the gist of it. And, uh, yeah, you all have a good day. Peace.